for what I understand. And Tim Ferriss actually has a really good phrase about people like you that get to this entrepreneur journey because they actually find out that they needed to scratch their own itch, right? And for you, actually, the reason why you open your business is because you actually couldn't find a planner that had everything that you were looking for. And then yeah. you had to invent one. So Exa That's exactly what entrepreneur is, right? It's creating something from nothing that doesn't exist. Alan David, founder and CEO of 90X, arrived in America without any business lead connections. He had no university networking or didn't even have a solid business idea. But he did have ambition. He did have drive. He had the dream to make something of his life. His story is next on the Entrepreneurial Vibration Show. Here's your host, Sandy Viterra. So you knew that your why helped you reach your goals. So yes. you want to help other individuals in the, their world reach their goals. So that's beautiful. That's Fantastic. That, that's the reason behind it, yeah. Phenomenal. Now let's get into the what. So the what is the 90X goal planner, right? Yeah. So now let's get into the how, which is the system. Yeah. So the system is built very, very simple. Like I said, I've tried so many planners. Okay. So confusing. Some of them, you literally had to go to college to figure out how to fill it out. And I didn't <laughs> want to do that. So, so that, that's the reason behind that. So what I did is I took a system that I worked by throughout the years yeah. and I just made it very, very minimalistic, very, very simple that any person can pick up and get going. We also give them examples of how to, but very, very simple so they can get going. So yeah. the, the system works this way. The first thing you create is a vision. Like any business, you create a vision. What is the vision? What it is that I want to bring out to the world that's going to either help people or create a product, solve a problem fix a pain point, whatever it may be. What is the vision? How does that product even look? Mm -hmm. Once you create that vision, now you have a snippet, you know what that looks, that's where you want to work from. Not to, that's where you want to work from. From the vision, not to the vision. Second pillar is the goal. Mm -hmm. What is your goal? What is it that you want exactly? Describe it exactly. Not wishy-washy, not I want to buy a house. No, I want to buy a house in San Diego, California, facing the ocean with two bedrooms, next to an amazing park, as detailed as you can, that's the way you write the goal. So that's the second pillar. The third thing, you already said, the why. Why do you want that goal? Yeah. What is that about that goal that's going to help you get going? Now, there's also the 90 days, so let's not forget about that because we want to keep that momentum going for 90 days. Now, if it was the same goal for one year, it's probably going to be harder to keep that momentum. You're going to get fed up. You're going to get frustrated. It's just a longer period. So when you look at 90 days and then you work backwards, mm -hmm. it's a lot easier to get going because you just take it one step at a time. 90 days is a lot easier to achieve than 365 days. I love but the 90 it, days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the reason. And the fourth pillar is very easy is, you know, what actions am I willing to take towards the goal? Mm -hmm. Now, that's where most people fail and stop. Why? I'll tell you why. It's very easy. Because they're trying to see the whole picture. They want all the answers. They want to know exactly what to do it, how they're going to do it, how they're going to get there, what emails to write, what sales page, who to talk to, how to sell it, how much it's going to cost, where it's going to get produced. And they want to know all that on day one. The whole shebang. Yeah. <laughs> they want the whole shebang. So yeah. an example that I always give and kind of resonates with people is like, think about it. If you were driving from San Diego to LA, which is about a three-hour drive, would you care about every exit along the way? Do you need to know exactly where each Starbucks is along the way? Mm -mm. Right? You're going to believe that as you go, you're going to have some gas stations, some exits, some Starbucks, some McDonald's, some whatever along the way. You don't need to know all that. You just need to know that I'm here and I want to get there. Does it make sense? Right. Absolutely. And most people, which is a big struggle for most as entrepreneurs, is we struggle with the shiny object syndrome, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, for example, it's like you see a squirrel and you go, squirrel. <laughs> so <laughs> for the viewers that are going to be watching this video later on when we post it on YouTube, if you struggle with the shiny object syndrome, 
please type below squirrel and let us know if you struggle <laughs> with that. One of those, yeah. Or yeah. IG if you're going to post it as well. Yeah, exactly. But, exactly. And that's really it. And that's it. This is the four step system. It's yeah. very easy. I mean, there's a lot more things that we added as we go, rewriting your goals, rewriting your actions. I have the daily, how to do it every day. And that's also a very important system. Yeah. But if you just think about it, I mean, that's how easy it is. It shouldn't be complicated. Right. Most people think they should ask themselves 350 questions a day, every day, spend three hours writing the journal. No, no. Like write five, 10 minutes, write down what it is that you want. Know the difference. Another major thing is knowing the difference between your to-do list and actions towards your goal. Mm -hmm. Most people don't know the difference and they think because they have a lot of things going on, they're doing something to grow their business, but they're not. I love that. I love that. And the simplicity that you're actually putting into it, right? Like, hey, yeah. keep them separate. Like a big to-do list and the difference between that and just focus on your goals on a day-to-day -day basis. Exactly. Yeah. So most people think because I have 25 tasks, that's great. I'm busy. I'm working. Right. Right. Well, did it move the needle? Right. In the to-do list, there's a lot of things that you can pass on to a VA. Hey, just pass that on. But your goals are your goals. Those are the ones that you as a CEO need to focus on. Exactly. 100%. And that's the reason when we're creating the 90X 2.0, right. we did that exactly. We separated it to three columns. The first ones is what is my intention of the day? What it is that I want to do today mm -hmm. that will help me get closer to my goal? Right, right, right. Whatever it may be, to my goal, not to paying the bills, not to, what is it, my goal? And those three actions, four action, one action, is this going to get me closer to my goal or not? If it's not, it goes in the to-do list. If it is, it stays in the action columns. Right. Second right. task, in the to-do list, we broke it down to tasks that are going to take us under two minutes. Oh, tasks yeah. that are going to take us under two minutes. So if you have five, 10, 20 items that are going to be under two, quick email, quick text, quick reply, sign this, do that, whatever it may be, under two minutes, you write that first. What that does, it empties out half of your hard drive and puts it on paper. Mm -hmm. Whatever's left over are the ones you're either going to delegate or you're going to move on to the next day, to the VA, to an employee, to your integrator, whatever, or you're going to put it to the next day. We start our day with completing anything that's under two minutes because even if we had 10 items, it's like 20 minutes and we're done. Mm -hmm. Right. And now we're cleared our day to focus just on our goal. That's why you're getting more productive. You can get more done in less time. Guys, I am becoming an official user of this. <laughs> <laughs> so he's sending one to me. He said he is. So yes. I cannot wait. You're going to get a rose gold. Yeah. We'll yeah. send you a rose gold. Oh, I love that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But now, that, that's what that is. And yeah. I, honestly, even if the listeners don't want to get one, they don't have one, it's yeah. completely fine. Take a piece of paper, draw down everything I just gave you. I gave you the steps. I'm not hiding anything. I'm giving again all the steps and do that for a week. And you tell me that you're not getting productive. No, come on. Now. You don't want a piece of paper. You want the beautiful leather one that has yeah. everything. It's <laughs> yeah, and but, but that's the thing. <laughs> has, uh, also, I heard that he has um, motivational quotes. Now, this is one thing. Every day. That we entrepreneurs also struggle with, right? We have and we live, believe it or not, people think that we live this gorgeous life and that we are surrounded by people. No, but no, it's very lonely. We have to admit it and it's very lonely life. So having those motivational quotes where we open a page and we see this motivation that you can wake up to, I think is amazing. And it's just right there on a page for you every day, right? Every day, uh, you have 90 plus motivational quotes because what we did is every seven days, we left it blank. Right. We left an area for you to write a motivational quote, maybe something that you got inspired <laughs> by, maybe something that's yours so that you can do. We also have affirmations. So right. I am successful. I am rich. I am happy. I'm excited. I'm fearless. Every day, you can work from a different thing. Now, this is the key. It doesn't matter what I tell you. It doesn't matter what you tell them. It doesn't matter if I give him one. If you don't do the work and actually pick up the planner, piece of paper, your wall, the fridge, whatever that you want to write on every day, it doesn't matter. Hmm. All this goes for nothing. So you got to take that small leap of faith, that action, and turn that into a habit. You know what? We even added a habit tracker. So if wow. you don't use to on writing, every day you can write, I want to write for a week, and then you can check mark every day to really help you going on the habit tracker, but this is very simple guys. This is what most successful people do. Eight mm -hmm. figures, nine figures, they use that. This is not a method that was invented yesterday, obviously. We just try to make it simpler, 
but it's very, if you have a goal, get crystal clear what it is. Never, ever adjust the goal, adjust the way, yep. adjust the plan. So if you think that this is not happening, maybe I should just write a different goal and start again. You're just starting from the beginning. You know, exactly. remember, the, remember the game ladder and snakes. I used to play that when I was, <laughs> you, get bit, you start from the beginning. Yeah. It wasn't frustrating when you get to the top, you get bit and you go all the way down. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's exactly what happens in real life. Seriously. Think yeah. about it. You're writing your goal one week, two weeks, you spend on it, you spend the time, the energy, and then this is not working and decided, forget it, I'm going to do it. You're starting again. Mm -hmm. Now, most people should know this, but I think if they don't, you, you're in your uh, bank account, you will not get deposited more time. Hmm. So if you yeah. spend a month, that month is gone if you've done nothing with it. So it's very important that you use your time wisely. Money will always be deposited to your account, no matter what you do. It will get deposited to your account, but time is taken away and you're not getting more of it. So that's why for me, being productive, being efficient, making things happen in the time and being committed to what I want is very important. I don't waste my time because I know this is it. I used to be one of those that works 12 hours a day, mm -hmm. seven days a week, answers my phone any given time just in case I miss something. But now I'm done. This is 1.30 of the year. At two, this is already late, by the way. Usually I'm out by one. But 2 o'clock, 2.30. <laughs> yes, seriously. 2.30, I'm already at home. I wait for my kids. They come from uh, school and kindergartens and all that stuff. And I spend time with them. And I leave to the That's office beautiful. at whatever time I want. Because I know what's more important to me. For me, it's God, my family, and then the business. So once you identify those things are very important if you want to be successful. So, all right. So we're towards the end of the show here, unfortunately. Sure. And I always end with this question. I said, I give this opportunity to my guest speaker to talk to this mic. If you were in front of it, it will be this mic. <laughs> to talk to the mic as it was a room full of entrepreneurs. One day I will have that opportunity to have a room full of entrepreneurs. Okay. What advice would you give to them? I only the advice that I mean, there's a lot of advice, but I'll give him one. I think the one that's really that most people are are failing every day is don't wait for it to be perfect. Launch it messy and work from there. That's the advice that I will give any entrepreneur because anybody that I deal with waits for it to be perfect. I'll do it when it's perfect. I'll only launch it when I have a hundred people. Uh, no, launch it. Launch it messy and work from there because you will get more clarity. If you're trying to be perfect, it's not gonna be. My planner is not perfect, not even close to be perfect. I actually don't want it to be perfect because it cannot be because therefore I can make it better and better and better as I go. Because if it's perfect, I'm done. So. <laughs> that is so true. And you don't yeah. wanna be done, you wanna keep going, you wanna keep working on it, right? Just got started. There you go. Thank yeah. you so much. Where can people find you? So I love Instagram. That's pretty much the only platform I use. I do myself, actually. I have people doing the other stuff. So it's 90X Goal Planner. So I would love for you guys to DM me, follow me, let me know if you found something interesting. If you want to get a planner, it's 90XGoalPlanner.com. And, and we have you a can discount. Use... We yeah, have what's a the discount, discount code? I give it to you. Yes, it's Vibe, because we are having a special discount with Viteri Vibes. So it's Vibe, yep. B-I-B-E. 25. So take That's advantage it. of that. Yeah. Yeah. And do that. Now, one more thing. I didn't come over here. I told you that in the beginning to sell my product. The product is selling is not a problem. So all I say is if you want to use the product, go ahead. There's a discount code. Get one for yourself. If you don't, that's completely fine. Take a blank journal and use everything I gave you. Try it and let me know how that works. There we go. Thank you so much for coming and joining. I loved talking to you today. Thank and you. I wish you much success, much more than you already have. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Bye-bye. Now, we would love to hear from you. Tell us on the comments below. Was this advice helpful to you today? And how can you put some of what you learn into practice right away to start to see a difference in your entrepreneurial journey? Also, don't forget, if you found this podcast helpful, make sure to subscribe. Share with your friends and hit the like button so we know to make more podcasts like this one.